Okay. Um, okay, so good afternoon, class. Welcome to organization and management class. So our topic for today's discussion is all about the rules and skills of a manager. So this is module one, lesson 1.3. So for today's lesson, this would be our learning outcomes. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to first explain the common rules performed by a manager, second, elucidate the skills required for a manager. Okay, to start with, what do managers actually do? Okay, um, unsa man yun ang mga ginabuhat sa Osaka manager? Okay, anyone would like to answer? Sige, manawag lang ko ha. Um, Miss Chavez. Kuan, ma'am. She is the one, or she or he is the one who manages the business. Okay, thank you, Miss Chavez. How about you, Miss Calba? Ma'am, ah. Kuan, ma'am, siya ang magplan and promote sa mga daily schedules of employees and the business ng mag-hire and coordinate employees, mag-create and maintain sa budget and coordination with and report sa mga senior management in the company. Okay, thank you, miss. So, all of your answers were correct. So, magin siya ama ang trabaho sa Osaka managers. Okay? Dili na to ma-integrate ang katong functions nga akong dimension last meeting, which is ang planning, ang organizing, ang staffing, ang leading, um, and then the controlling. Okay? So this is a very common question that many people find themselves asking. Okay? What do managers actually do? Truthfully, this is a fair question. If we intend to train and educate the next generation of manager, isn't it important to have an understanding of what we're training them for? So, muna siya nga, you as a student, na part mo sa hospitality, part mo sa management, you are trained to be a manager, okay? A manager on your own, on your own business, or someday, um, kamo ang magda sa Osaka business, okay? So, this question plagued the mind of Professor McGill uh, in a university, uh, a professor in a McGill University by, by the name of Henry Mintzberg. Okay, so nagbalik-balik, gina siya sa iyong huna-huna. Masa mo gina ginabuhat sa mga managers. And through that, he found out that managers serve three distinct roles in the operation. Okay, so Mintzberg found, found that managers serve three distinct roles in the operation. First is the interpersonal roles. Second is the informational roles. And Lastly is the decisional rules. So each of these categories um, spawned more specific responsibilities that ultimately shared a common theme. What is manager? Okay, so unsa man ang manager in your own idea? Anyone? How about you, Miss Ashley? Ay? <laughs> okay, lain na lang. How about you, Mr. Jaime? Jaime Kalumba. Okay, so I think Mr. Jaime is not available. So a manager, um, he is the one who mainly responsible and accountable for accomplishing the specific goal or objectives of the particular group, such as unit, division, or department, or several uh, groups. So although the definitions, a manager can be easily be described as someone who is in charge. Basically, she is in charge organizations or a subgroup. And since the manager is in 
is in charge of an organization or sub subgroup, um, they are given a certain amount of authority over the group. So basically, since the manager is the leader of the group, then basically, na siya authority. Okay? Kung unsa ang iyahang word, magin na siya i-follow sa mga um, middle mga middle employee o katong mga low level employee. So, mao ni siya ang the discover or role nga gihimo ni Mitzberg. Okay? So, Mitzberg argued that the presence of this authority was important because this formal authority, meaning authority, uh, it derives from a simply having a certain position in the organization structure which is it results in the position of the status. And the manager status in the organization is what leads to the various roles. So interpersonal rules, role, um, this is the first role of manager um, in which the role are divided directly from a formal authority since the manager would have the same relationship with his or her subordinate. If he or she lack formal authority and thus uh, lagi respect uh, coming from the from the people, di ba? So, interpersonal role, uh, nag-consist na siya of three ka-important role. First is the figurehead. So, when we say figurehead, um, managers are the head of the organization's unit and are responsible for performing certain ceremonial duties. Okay? And as a figurehead, um, you will become a man, a leader. So a leader here, um, um, it is accountable for work and performance of their subordinates. So as a leader, you're going to direct, you're going to motivate, you're going to um, establish communication, and you're also going to have a counseling with your subordinates. If um, na ay, na ay part or na ay kao ba ninyo or naa kay tao nga need o counseling if poor ang iyang performance sa iyang trabaho. So, kailangan siya counseling or maybe training. So, um, part na siya as an in, part na siya sa interpersonal role. And managers also often responsible for hiring and training in their direct area and also providing uh, subordinates with incentives to increase productivity while, while, while working towards group. Okay, and lastly, okay, ang last nga cover sa interpersonal role is the liaison. So liaison, as a liaison, uh, the managers will serve as a connection between their organizations or subunit to outside, to those outside of it. Okay, so um, liaison, um, as a part of a manager, ani, mahimo kang bridge. Okay, ikaw ang mahimong bridge, mag-maintain ka o mga information links within or outside sa inyong organization. It could be through via calls, via emails, via meetings, and others. Now, let's proceed to informational rules. So, informational rules, um, through sa mga interpersonal rules, ang manager mag-develop siyang important contacts that provide them with access to important information. Okay? So, since na naman itong mga na naman to, na naman, na naman siya quality as a liaison, na naman siya communication within and outside of the organizations, na definitely na naman siya information. Okay? And within the informational role, manager will serve as a monitor. Okay? So, manager are responsible for scanning their environments for information. And this information can come from a manager's vast collections of networks it can be either solicited or unsolicited. So the most important thing here is that the manager has their ears to the ground and is waiting for valuable information to rely to his or her subordinate. Okay? So maobita tong akong gidi sa class na part good sa um, business or sa management ang bridging. Okay? So, I benchmarking, I'm sorry. Benchmarking. Okay? Kay... Um, they need a certain information coming from the outside. And then outside information part uh, included ana ang mga competitor. Kung unsa pod ang ang um, sa tawag ana, kung unsa pod ang status sa market. Okay? So mao na siya. 
and then disseminator. So once the manager collects their information, they are now in a position to disseminate that information to their organizations or subunits. So this action highlights a manager's role as a disseminator. Without the manager, subordinates wouldn't have an access to this information since they likely lack vast network of contact that managers possess. Okay? So basically, good a manager um dako na gid kaayo siya og market daghan gid kay information since ang manager kay mo mo though naa na sila sa higher position still um mo join man gihapon na sila different um trainings mo join gihapon na sila different um workshop and also um ang manager pud usually ang manager gina siya ang mo conduct og meeting sa ilang mga possible nga mga prospects mga possible nila nga stakeholders mo na nga mo baka build gid og kanang dako nga market or dako nga um sets of people kanang mga bigatin bitaw na mga tawo sa so maka meet gid ang ang manager ana and through that maka gain ko siya mga informations in which beneficial sa usa ka company and magamit pud nila sa ilang company and i-share pud na niya ngadto sa ilang mga tawo so in that way a manager act as a disseminator and then last one is spokesperson. So the last informational role of a manager is that he is a spokesperson. So in addition of disseminating information to those outside the organizations of subunit, um, the manager also send information to people on the outside. So this could take the form of a conference call with investors, okay? A testimony, okay? Wala siya ang spokesperson. So in addition to managing the interest of their subordinate, uh, managers must also deal with external stakeholders such as mga investors, mga suppliers, mga creditors, or mga government agencies and other. So due to the informational rules, managers now have access to what is needed to make decisions. Okay? So at this point, I'm sure that you can see how these rules are beginning to tie together. For without the interpersonal rules, um, the interpersonal role managers wouldn't be in a position to gain access to information in the first place. And then the third one is decision, decisional roles. So managers here um, play a significant role in the decision-making of the organizations or subunit. Okay? So, uh, and this is a large part due to the level of information that they have access to. So within a manager's role, um, as a decision maker, they also serve as an as an entrepreneur. Okay, so as an entrepreneur, uh, the managers seek to utilize their information for the purpose of improving their organizations or subunit. Remember that while serving as monitor, the manager is scanning the environment for information and opportunities. So as an entrepreneur, um, the manager now will take advantage of those opportunities that were previously identified. Okay? So, mamagid na siya ang role again sa manager. Diba? Ay, sorry. And the next one is disturbance handler. So, as, this, as a disturbance handler, managers are responsible for responding to events or circumstances that are beyond their control. These circumstances or pressures are typically too significant for a ma manager to ignore. And thus, some kind of action is needed. So these pressures could include deteriorating, mga economic conditions, mga labor strikes, mga natural disasters, mga competitor, um, mga even ang kanang mga product issues. Okay, this will really, uh, this would really give an impact to the business kung naamuan. So mo na siya mga disturbance handler, um, unsa on man pag pag address sa usa ka managers unsa may mga techniques or mga te or or strategy nga iyahang i-apply so that uh, ma solve na siya nga problem nga gi-face sa company and then resource allocator so this is the third decisional role that managers engage in 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 <laughs> in is the resource allocator so as resource allocator managers um decide who in their organizations or subunit gets what. This can include things like times, which is important considering considering the manager's connections and access to information, money, equipment, and facilities. Okay? Um, it would be the manager's decision to decide 
um, unsa to ang mga resources nga gikinahanglan sa inyong company. Okay? Dili lang kay as a manager imuha lang i-introduce sa owner nga mao ni siya ang mga resources dili. Dapat i-away, okay? I-away based on importance and based on urgency. So mo na siya kailangan um decide sa usa ka manager. And lastly is negotiator. So the fourth and final decision role is that of a negotiator. So due to the authority to commit organizational resources as well as, as well as their access to information, managers are uniquely positioned to negotiate on behalf of the organizations. Okay? So the manager regularly negotiates suppliers, um, mga employees, mga grievances, and employee labor contract. Okay? So, for example, um, na ay proposal. Okay, so it would be the manager to to negotiate. Uh, siya ang mag-negotiate sa ilang prospect nga investor. So, as per Henry Mitzberg said, impact of managerial role acting together is greater than the sum of the individual's role. Okay, so he argued that um, managerial role roles provide a better reflection of what managers actually do. So each role is uniquely important and the sum of these managerial roles is certainly greater than the individual roles by themselves. Take for example, a manager who doesn't have access to information. Diba? So wala well, access to information. So how would it make certain accurate and timely decision? Diba? So ang manila pag-decide, ano kung wala well, enough na information ang usaka manager. Diba? So Kung saan man nila pag-allocate o mga resources, kung saan man nila pag-identify yung sa itong mga opportunities para sa ilang organization if the manager doesn't have an information, wala si knowledge about ANA, di ba? Okay? So the truth is, managerial role is necessary and important to ultimately effective, okay? Dapat effective siya. However, Metzberg certainly didn't claim that every manager give each role the same attention, but that access to each was important for a manager to be able to fulfill the rules and responsibility effectively. So through, so he introduced ni Metzberg nga mga different roles, um, it doesn't mean nga um, i, naagi siya ato tanan. Okay? It doesn't mean nga um, i-perform gito niya tanan, but since like, interconnected man lang to siya, interconnected man to siya. So, naka-interpersonal information and the through that, since naakay maayo nga interpersonal information at interpersonal nga role, um, you will gain information from those people nga kinanginahan lang kag, um, information, mga source of information and that you will decide. Next is functions of a manager. Okay. So, managerial functions so pertain to the specific tasks and responsibility assigned to managers. Um, they vary depending on the level of managerial position. So, these levels are follows. So, first level superiors, middle ma managers, and top managers. So, the first line managers, um, these are the managers who will coordinate activities, who will supervise employees, who will report to the middle managers and involve a day-to-day -day operations and then the middle managers um they allocate resources um they oversee first line managers and report to top management and develop and implement activities the middle managers will um keep the balance between the first line managers to the top managers okay in between ang middle siya ang mo balance between the top and bottom and the top managers, this are the um, their responsibility is to set objectives, to scan environment, and plan and make decisions to the company. Skills of a manager. So, what do you think should be a man? What do unsa magud ang inyo hang um based on your own opinion? Unsa magud ng mga skills ang kailangan ipossess sa usa ka manager? Miss Charlene. <laughs> okay, how about you, Mr. Reeds?
Mang take for siguro mang kan ng proficiency in like kanang word nana mga excel Mm-hmm. Technical side. Ah, yeah. Technical, technical skills. skills. Ah, thank you, Mr. Reed. How about the others? Um, Mr. James. For me, mom, kailangan sociable ang manager because as a manager, you meet a lot of people and you really need to communicate with them. Yan pa. Okay. Thank you, James. Yes. Both of your answers were correct. So it is very important that a manager is not educate technical skills. Um, you have the um, kato socialize ka, communicate ka with your um, people. So and very important kaya siya. So first we have here is the technical skills. So technical skills um are must required for a manager. So required yun siya sa manager. Okay. So a manager must have knowledge and proficient in activities that involve process, methods, and procedures. Okay? So these activities involve the use of tools, matigiingon ni reads, ang katungpag the use of Excel, kaya syempre maghimu mo siyang mga report, mga data, and also uh, another other specific technique. So for example, you are a restaurant manager, you, manager, uh, you must have the ability to teach this crew on various restaurant procedures, okay? So, very important kaayo na siya. Next is human skills. So, these skills pertain to the ability of a manager to relate and work with people, okay? Muna ta ang giingon ni Mr. James na socialize. So, it is very important na naagid sa imuhang um, goal as a manager to, to work with people, okay? Um... The teamwork, cooperation, and creation of a conducive environment where people feel secured and free to express their opinion. Okay, so dapat tiligid ka authoritarian type of a manager. Kaya ang people, ana, aw, ang imuha mga tao, ana, will tend to be silent lang. Okay? Dili sila open. Dili sila free to express their opinion. So dapat you have this um, skill, a, a human skill, so that ang imong mga tao is very open lang sila very uh, very secured and um open lang sila to give suggestions kung unsang uh, need to improve sa inyong business or sa ibisan sa imong management style so dapat mo accept gihapon kag mga um opinions coming from your people and the next is conceptual skill so a manager needs to have the ability to recognize okay interpret and explain the big picture and significant elements and pattern in a given situation. So basically, conceptual skills, um, you just, you will think outside of the box. Delete lang kay, mustik lang ka kung unsa ang naadiha. Okay? So dapat na kay conceptual skills um, to, to, to apply kung unsa ang mga possibilities nga pwede i-apply. So mo to siya nga mamino ka sa imuhang mga tao. Okay? So that um, if na a problem, for example, ug na a problem, tapos dili wala ka kay sa solution. So you'll, you will just ask suggestion to your people. Okay? Ing ana. And the next is leadership skill. Okay? So a manager is a leader that must have the ability to inspire and influence others to perform their task. Okay? So dapat um you will inspire your people. Naka ability, naka skill, na inspire ni mo ay mo mga tao, influence ni mo sila, so that they will work good sa ilahang mga trabaho, di ba? Um, mo perform yun sila pag maayo, okay? So from the start pa lang, ipa clear na ni mo ang inyong goal and objective sa inyong company, and of and also um na akay mga ways kung sa onilin ni mo sila pag inspire. Like for example, um, naka incentive, naka reward if ma meet na nga target ka ng ing ana. Um, as a leader, you should lead by example. Okay, so um, ma inspire sila through sa imuhang mga experience, through sa imuhang um, the way how you handle the people ka ng ing ana. And then, so, next one is self objective and behaviorally flexible for a while class ha okay. 
Okay, sorry guys, uh, sabak. Sabak aja tamang iro. Okay, next is serve objective and behavioral flexibility. So as a manager, um, you must know how to evaluate uh, himself or herself objectively and realistically. Moreover, he or she should be able to modify his behavior in certain situation to react objectively and not subjectively. Okay, so dapat... Um, being an objective leader or a manager, you have the ability to maintain a realistic perspective and keep personal biases to a minimum. Diba? So, dapat wala kay bias. Dapat fair ang treatment ni mo sa mga tao. Dili kay porke si Maria nagpasipsip ni mo, so si Maria na lang po ang imuhang hatagan o attention, di ba? So, dapat fair. Okay, okay. Um, there are certain type of employee manggod nga. Dili kayo sila um prone to maki close sa manager but maayo ang ilahang performance mga ingana nga type so dapat you have a fair treatment gud sa imong mga tao as a manager and avoid using their own judgment and interpretation when faced with the situation or decision instead rely on facts and data okay so dapat as a manager um you have the data dapat fact dili lang kay ni decide ka na kay namino ka sa chismis ni Maria, di ba? So dapat na agi kay data, na kay fact, na kay evidence ngano ni come up ka nga decision. Next is oral and written communication skills. So since a manager presents ideas, communicates with people, um write reports, he or she needs to have the ability to express his thoughts and ideas both orally and in writing. So as a manager, you will not just be a uh, good in oral, but also you are good in writing also, di ba? Since a manager man good is, I uh, will conduct, um, nag-negotiate man siya sa inyong mga prospect nga mga, sa mga prospect ng mga investors, di ba? So dapat, naagid ka aning nga skills so that um, ma-impress ang mga possible nga investor. Makuha na ninyo ang mga inyong investor, okay? So yung anam. And then, tolerance for uncertainty and stress. So, a manager performs a lot of work. Okay? That should have responsibility. Uh, Maka-face ang mga difficult challenges o mga unexpected na mga paghitabo. So, with this situation, a manager has to have the ability to perform under stressful and ambiguous situation. Okay? So, even if um, naakay problema sa inyong balay, um, igabot sa trabaho, is separate ang problem sa balay. Okay? Focus sa work, and then dilit dalhon ang stress sa work. Okay? Dapat na agig kaan na ang ability or skills so that dilit ma-affect ang company. Kay once man good nga ang nagdala sa usa ka company na asya problema, dilit maayo ang iyang performance and definitely the people good is affected. Okay? Dilit po maayo ang ilahang performance. So, management is, above all, a practice where art, science, and craft meet. Okay? So, as a manager, okay, um, dili, dili, dili na maabot ng position if wala ka enough ng experience, wala ka enough ng practice. Diba? So, dapat, uh, so, kinahalag good experience so that um, you will be effective good as a Manager. So like today, uh, the pandemic brings in a lot of stressful and ambiguous situation. And as a manager, manager, you should have the ability to work under this condition. Okay, so on sa may mga um, possible nga approach, nga himuon, labi na kay open, closed ang mga businesses today. So how are you going to to survive, man? So muna siya huna huna on as a manager. Diba sa inyo hang na-observe karon since walay dine-in. So, ang mga companies is ni-off sila og online delivery. Okay, so part na siya sa changes. Part na siya sa pag-adapt sa changes. And um, maupo na siya nakita nila nga solution sa problem nga na-face karon Okay, so that's end. That, that's the last slide of our discussion. Do you have any question? So very short lang at the discussion today.